we are live now, and uh, we've got about 150 or so people on the chat roll, almost 200 people on the chat roll, so uh, welcome. Lovely. Um, <laughs> I am, uh, I'm not sure if you guys are seeing our video live just yet. Uh, if you can see me live chatting right now, go ahead and uh, type something in the chat roll. But otherwise, we'll keep going. Uh, this is being recorded, so we'll, um, we'll have a good time with it. Patricia says hello, Terry. <laughs> Hello, Patricia. <laughs> All righty. Um, so, Terry, again, thanks for uh, coming back for to answer question and answer. Uh, can you just give me in a couple of um, sentences what your highlights were from our uh, session the other day with Bobby and Mike Joyner? Um, yeah, as I as I put in the email, it was um, eye-opening for me to put, actually put numbers to what was a strong intuition and impression about the uh, efficiency differences between between swimming and the two land disciplines of triathlon. Um, so, um, what what was it again that um, to go 10% faster in each discipline, uh, it would take about 10% more oxygen in running. It would take 25 to 30 percent more oxygen in, in cycling and 60 to 80 percent more oxygen in swimming and also that if you take a group of athletes let's say those in a uh, a typical triathlon field that uh, of all the athletes in that field if all happen to be moving at the same pace uh, in running, you would find a gap between the better athletes and the and the lesser ones of I think 20 to 30 percent uh, in oxygen cost in cycling. I think it would be 15 percent, and I guess that's because there's not that much form variation because everybody's clipped into pedals and their feet are moving in a circle. Mm -hmm. uh, but in swimming, that differential between the least uh, efficient and the most efficient swimmer in the pack could be a 200 percent to 300 uh, percent differential in the in the oxygen cost to go the same speed so that was eye-opening yeah that was really interesting to hear it from Mike especially uh, thinking about not only how the efficiencies of the different sports change as your speed changes because of the uh, the density that you're moving through whether it's wind or water, but yeah. also the differences in efficiency between two athletes who are moving at the same speed. What their difference is? If I'm cycling 20 miles per hour and Chrissy Wellington is cycling at 20 miles per hour, right. she's probably much more efficient than I am. But but you're not going to see a massive difference as you would in swimming, in swimming. between. Yeah, although I would guess you're be going to be one of the more efficient people in that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, if I if I may ask, what uh, you know, what particular things were uh, eye-opening or noteworthy for you? Uh, for me, I think it was that when it comes down to improving efficiency in swimming, the the focal points, you know, swimming with focal points, I think is really important. Um, and getting objective feedback about whether or not what you're thinking is what's being executed in the water. Right. Uh, you, you talk a lot about having a focal point of instructions to the muscles, telling the muscle what to do. For example, take my lead arm, and put on a wider track. I right. may think that I'm doing that, but without the objective feedback, it's very difficult to to know because it feels right. And if it right. didn't feel right, I would would not be doing what I'm doing. Right? I'd be doing and, yeah. something else. And in fact, you should always be a little bit suspicious of what your perceptions are telling you, mm -hmm. or or at least want to find another way to verify. Yeah, right. Uh, and Bobby's online. Thanks for joining us again, Bobby. How are you today? Oh, I'm, I'm good. I hope you can hear me. Um, uh, sorry, I'm a little bit late. Uh, the, the weather in Colorado is not playing ball. Bobby, okay. after watching you do all those exercises just a few minutes ago, I'm surprised you're not out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> those weren't live live exercises. No, no, I got yeah. it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> no. Well, I, I, yeah, I, ahead, I would sorry. love to get straight to some of the questions that people are, are sending in. There's already some really good questions. Um, that's why people tune in today and I know Bobby that your time is limited so if you guys are ready to start I will go ahead and start um, asking you some things. Fire away. 